Joining us now is the Con Smythe Award winner of the 97 team. Great seasons here in Detroit, even though they weren't as many as we would have liked. He's, we're joined by Mike Vernon. How are you? Good. How's it going? It's going great. Uh, how cool was last night? Oh, it was very cool. It's, uh, you know, it's always good to come back to Detroit. And, uh, you know, that was the first time that I've seen the new building. And uh, it's a beautiful facility. And uh, it was just, it was, uh, you know, it was great just coming back here and uh, seeing all the uh, my old teammates and uh, having a few laughs and telling a few uh, stories and things like that. So it was, uh, it was a good, uh, good evening. When you come back and you get a chance to celebrate a championship with, with guys like that, I mean, do you, what are, could you share maybe one that's good for air, one of the best <laughs> stories that you have from that season? Well, there, you know what? There's so many stories and, uh, it, it's it's amazing the little the little things we talk about and the little things we get a laugh about. So it's yeah, there's it, there's stuff that uh, went on on the ice. We talk about things to practice, things off the ice. Uh, you know, one thing that we used to do, uh, you know, we used to go for dinner on the road. And uh, I remember we the the five Russians took us for dinner in Russia or in. Uh, LA and we had Russian food. We had their culture. We lived there, you know, how they eat and things like that. And it was a great evening. And those little things like that kind of gelled our team together. I believe um, another one, we went and played paintball in uh, San Jose and little things like that. It was the North Americans against the Europeans and things like that. We had a great time and a lot of laughs and a, a few beers in there, and uh, it was good. I never thought. I'm sure you, you didn't believe back there. You wouldn't have known that uh, Slava Fatisa would end up being working <laughs> working for Vladimir Putin one day, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's that's all just crazy right now, and uh, yeah, that's that's just nuts. I know. And, uh, I uh, you know he was he was a great teammate. And, uh, a, a lot of them are Larry on a class act, a great player. And, uh, you know, it doesn't have, I don't think a lot to do with the people over there. It's, uh, uh this crazy dictator, but, uh, you know, hopefully this will get resolved quickly. Yeah. That, that, that would be nice. Mike Vernon joining us on the Stony and, and Jansen program. It's so weird. You're looking back, you know, you were only here three years, but God, you went to the finals your first year. You had the best record in the regular season the second year and then the Colorado uh, you know, thing that took place. And then you win the Stanley Cup. You're the Conn Smythe Trophy. And they said, oh, gee, thanks, Mike. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> well, Kenny, and I, Kenny Holland and I, we, we chatted about that uh, the other day and things like that. But, you know, we, uh, you know goaltending is uh, – it, it's a crucial part of the game. And uh, it, was, it was great to be partnered up with Chris and – I win one year and he wins the next year. And, uh, you know, and then they ran into some trouble the, the third year. And Kenny said, I wonder if we never traded you the third year. Do you think we would have won three in a row? <laughs> <laughs> and I said to him, well, you could have traded back for me. <laughs> and he just, he just laughed. So it's, uh, no, it was great. They, the Detroit Red Wings uh, organization, Look at the the run they've had, and it looks like right now they they have a pretty good hockey club too, a good young hockey club that Stevie's building, and uh, there's some great players there. And uh, you know, I was very impressed with uh, Hosa, their goaltender, uh, very good goaltender, and uh, played exceptionally well last night. So let's go back to March 26, 1997. <laughs> I want to know about this a little bit more because it, obviously it's. It's a night that you got 300 wins. It's a night where we all, I don't necessarily, we do celebrate it, but yeah. it's also, it's recognized every single year. Was that something that you thought ahead of time, you know what, if this goes down, Patrick Roy, you're mine. <laughs> uh, that did not enter my mind one iota. And, <laughs> Even when Patrick Hall left his crease, I was like saying to myself, Patrick, stop. Go back into your net. What are you doing? 
And so I said, well, I'll just come out and see what's going on and things like that. But I never anticipated it getting carried away like that. I didn't anticipate, you know, Patrick and I squaring off and at center ice of all things. And, uh, yeah, so things just happen in the game of hockey and uh, you just react. So that's all I tried to do and uh, just do my end of my end of the bargain type thing and uh patrick's my guy so if he left the crease i left the crease so that's how it goes <laughs> the third honor system yeah you played you played in your hometown of calgary for 13 years over two stints obviously here in san jose and a little bit in, in florida in between two stanley cups a con Smythe, you know numerous jennings all-stars you look back and say you know me and ozzy really <laughs> should be in the hall of fame <laughs> well, that's not my decision. That's the the group at the the Hall of Fame that uh, do that. Uh, if they think that I and Ozzy have the record to uh, be honored to uh, go into the Hall of Fame, I'll gladly accept. But if that's you were, not my that's if, not my call. <laughs> if you were to be asked by the NHL or the the voters to say, "Hey, make a case." Tell us why you should be in the Hall of Fame. Have you, you know, could you, could you make yourself a, a good case? Uh, well, I just, numbers don't lie. So oh. I, I just put my numbers in there and you plug them in. And if that's uh, suitable, then there you go. I think that's all I can do. Mm-hmm. Yep, you know, two, you know, one con smite, two Stanley Cups with with, with two different teams. Yeah, uh, Vernie, your 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 experience here, at, living in this city during that time, what was that life? Look, I I, I told John off the air. I haven't said it on the air. Uh, your wife Jane uh, and she had the two seat, two tickets next to me and my my she was my girlfriend at the time. My wife and I was great seeing Jane last night. Uh, but the, the whole city, the way they, they rallied around you guys, what was it like for your family? Well, I, I was just newly married, and uh, we had uh, my daughter, but uh, it, was, it was great. We, uh, I know I lived in, uh, on Hawthorne Street in Birmingham, and there was some construction going on. Uh, and I, I don't know, I had mentioned something in an interview or something like that, and uh, the owner of the Townsend had phoned and said, you got a room at this hotel for well, as long as the uh, playoffs go on. <laughs> so I used to go over and have my afternoon nap at the Townsend Hotel, which was <laughs> outstanding. <laughs> yeah. So little things like that. And the city was always very gracious. Uh, you know, anytime I was out in the boat, it was always positive and, or, you know, just glad to have me there and glad we're playing and winning and things like that. So, the city was uh, the city, and the fans were great. Um, I enjoyed it. It, you know, everybody says it's hard to play in a, in Canada with a the media and things like that. Well, I tell you, Detroit—they're very knowledgeable about their hockey. Maybe because they're so close to Toronto, and they saw Don Cherry all the time. <laughs> but uh, and an original six, it, it, so yeah, and original six, it, absolutely. So there is that competitiveness here, and it does rub off on the players, and it uh, and on a positive note. And uh, you're in a hockey atmosphere, and that's a great thing to have, and uh, it's a great atmosphere to play under. So it uh, it was a lot of fun here in Detroit. Was I enjoyed it, my stay. Was it apropos last night that all you guys were introduced, and all of a sudden, and you know, Shanny shows up uh, fashionably late and is the last person introduced? <laughs> Oh, he did that on purpose for crying out loud. Come on. <laughs> he sat down beside me and I said, You did that on purpose, didn't you? And he just laughed. <laughs> but uh no, but that's you know, he uh he drove here and I guess there the there was an accident on the highway or something like that, he said, and uh but he made it and yep. uh, that's what it's all about. Uh last one for me. And I've always wondered this, and, and we've, I've heard a number of guys talk about it, but when it's all said and done and you're holding the Stanley Cup over your head, what's that moment like? Well, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a great moment. You just, you just soak everything in, but it's, it's, I finally did it. 
or I did it. And I've achieved the goal that I was probably dreaming of since I was a young boy. And uh, that's what's important. And then you go back and start celebrating with your teammates and that. And it takes a long time to sink in. But then you, you know, you go back and think of the people that helped you along the way when you were a child growing up or as you were, uh, you know, playing your career in, in junior and starting to, you know, you get drafted. You just reflect on all of that stuff and your your journey to get to the Stanley Cup for you to hoist that. And I think that's uh, and your family members and and all of that. So a lot of people contributed to it. A lot of people helped me get to that uh, point in my life. And I was very grateful. Uh, two, two quick things. Who was the uh, one person you were most excited to see last night? And out of all the guys, which one looks the worst? <laughs> oh, my gosh. You wouldn't. Okay. Well, it's always great to see Ozzy again. I do stay in touch with him. Right. But it was great to see all the guys. I was happy to see them all. We've had a lot of laughs, a lot of stories and things like that. Um, I don't know. <laughs> From the weight standpoint, I, I, I'm i going to have to go out on the limb and go malt me. But <laughs> Draper said I'm not allowed to say anything. Because <laughs> <laughs> he would blame him for telling me. <laughs> how, 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 how nice was so it? I, I, all I said to Malt, I said, oh, I heard you got in the car accident. He goes, he looks at me and he says, oh, yeah, I heard you swallowed the airbag. <laughs> He didn't, he didn't like that one. <laughs> how, 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 uh, finally, how, how, how nice was it to see Vladdy? Oh, it was great to see Vladdy. And, you know, I, I was amazed. He, he, you know, it's, I have not seen Vladdy for a few years. You know, he knew me. He recognized me. He said, we said, exchanged a few words and things like that. Uh, he looks great had a very nice conversation with his daughter. So it was always great to see him. And uh, it was a tragedy, but he's, he, you know, he p- perseveres. And, uh, you know, it's great to see. It, it's for him to keep, you know, uh, you know, trying and working at it and having some progress. The guy was never a quitter on the ice, and it just shows the type of character that he was. Vernie, thanks. Thank you very much for taking some time. Uh, Safe travels back to Calgary and uh, say hello to your wife again. She was, she was very nice to us. We were, we had a, she was telling a story last night about how there were some uh, overzealous fans that used to show up and how, how jerks they were. And we used to try to get them basically kicked out of the show. It was nuts. (laughs) Oh, well, good thing I didn't hear that. It was all good. I know. (laughs) All right. Thanks, Mike.